Hi. Seek ye first the kingdom of heaven and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Now, I don't have a book or a chapter or a verse, unfortunately, but I have had this scripture in my heart for so many years now. I just wrote it down on one of my many papers that I keep my favorite and really great scriptures written on so that I can use them when God wants me to. So I have tried looking it up, but I have been unsuccessful so far. But when you seek first the kingdom of heaven and God's righteousness, and all of these things shall be added unto you, to us, well, what does that mean exactly? It means, first of all, that Jesus Christ is capable of anything and anyone that he wants to bring forward to the first or the front of any crowd or group going on out there, and just helping them to become first among their heart and their spirit written within their flexibility of just being who they are as a person, which can be in and out of our hearts a lot. Because of the thankfulness and the, and the givingness of all of us right now about who we are when we are with God Jesus, no matter what, everything that we desire, everything whom we trust in, who is Jesus Christ, our God and Savior alone, just remember that we can give him everything that we've got within us. And when we do that on a daily basis or a moment to moment basis, as much as we can, it's going to be absolutely, almost, downright impossible to not believe sometime in the future that something will happen with you, with God Jesus alone, in your life. And it is a phenomenal thing to know that Jesus Christ is simply with you and with me all of the time. Yes, that absolute, wonderful, phenomenal thing that we can think about, dream about, focus on for a little bit on our life and then just kind of walk away from that thought process thinking, hmm, that was fun while it lasted. But to actually bring that to reality, it's non-existent in my heart and in my thinking right now. Now, the capability of who I am by myself is okay. And some people have that drive and that motivation to move forward and go forward really fast. Some others slow, some others a little bit faster than slow. And not quite so fast and faster, but nevertheless, really, really fast. I'm one of these slow people. It's taken me all of this time, all of these years to just reach this point in my life, in my heart, about who Jesus Christ, God, is with me alone. Now, I'm not sure who you are with God, Jesus, alone in your life. I don't know you. And I don't know you that well. Some people around me know Jesus God really well. Others don't know him at all. Or they just say, I believe in God, and I truly believe that God, Jesus, is God too with God, Jehovah. But there's no announcement other than that except for them accepting that truth, which is a fact, by the way, in the Bible, from the Bible alone. So what in the matter of feckly shall we do about all of these things going on in our life when we want so much to be someplace or with someone, a person or persons or an audience out in front of us? What can we do ourselves with God Jesus in our life to have him help us to be motivated to move forward to the utmost part of our life? And in the history of mine, it's not good at all. But at the same time, right now is a fant fantastic way for me to tell you that with God, all things are possible. So therefore, the righteousness of who he is and the righteous value of who we are as God's children, because he did create us, all of us, all of creation, we can trust in him and believe in Jesus Christ, our God and Savior alone, to be with us when we are motivated enough to go out and do something. Well, let's say that we are, and things just don't go that way, like, at all. For instance, me. <laughs> I'm the best example I can say because I know how much effort I put into it and that I don't. So I have no excuse. I do have the time. I do have some motivation, just not enough. The drive and the push and the, the designated goal or target that I really want to set on a, goal, on a daily basis or a yearly basis, it's there kind of, sort of, well, maybe. But at the same time, it's there. So I stay consistent in my life with God Jesus. I don't know where it's going to go from here. I don't know how many people will actually see this one particular sermon. I pray that every single one of these sermons that God has had me do for him alone and with his help, get them out 
on the internet. And I pray and ask that in Jesus Christ, God's name alone. I pray that Heartline Ministry, YouTube, sermons, because they're all about God and His way of being with me in my heart through the Holy Spirit will just simply be out there magnifying, magnified a, a million times plus. Because I want people to know that they can do this too. It doesn't take much. Find a scripture, give it to God, ask God to give you the words, and go with it. And give Him the praise and the glory and the credit all of the time, 100%. He'll bless you for it too. So remember, seek ye first the kingdom of heaven and His righteousness, and all of these things can be added unto you. So whatever that is for me is. Whatever that is for you is. But I can tell you this. It's going to be awesome and miraculous. God bless. Have a great day.